Hey guys, I'm making me a quick little meal, starting together a quick little meal. And I shared a little thing on my channel of a uh, stuffed Philly cheese shell um, meal. And this is just going to be my little quick version. It kind of gave me an idea of something just to throw together on my, my, myself. How you can take a recipe and make it your own of what you may have. Well, I had some onions and peppers chopped up in a freezer bag. So I pulled them out. I had a little bit of hamburger meat left over from another meal I made. So I, put, so I threw that hamburger meat in there and browned it up. Browned this up with garlic powder, Worcestershire sauce, and some salt and pepper. So I blended it up by onions and peppers. Really fine. It doesn't call for brown gravy in the recipe, but I'm going to put a little brown gravy mix in there with it. And at the end, put a little sour cream in it to give it a little creaminess. It calls for macaroni for pasta. And I'm going to put my own, instead of stuffing the stuffed shell cheese pasta, I'm just going to put some pasta in there with it. With the little pasta water that's left, because the recipe asked for cornstarch. Well, in pasta water, you have a starch in your water. So that water is going to help thicken this up, the gravy, with that. And it also requires cheese. I'm making a cheese sauce. So I'm going to put my, my little cheese block of uh, processed cheese here in with this. <clears throat> so once I've got all this, I'm going to be adding my noodles and my cheese. And I'll come back and show you that next. Okay, I've got my pasta water in there and a little bit of extra water. i got the brown gravy packet mixed in there. I'm going to mix... Put my cheese on top of it. And I'm doing this a little bit one-handed. <laughs> Holding my phone. I can't do my stand today because well, I have my sweet little grandbaby with me. He likes to run with my stand and my phone. <laughs> so I have to hold my phone when he's here with me. <laughs> but as you see, this is what we do. Well, what I'm doing is I'm mixing this pasta with the water pasta starch in here to help thicken it up for a sauce. Putting my cheese in there with it. I've already browned my ground beef with the onions and peppers. And if it needs a little bit more water, we can add a little more water. This is quickly easily done by just a little bit more in there to make a sauce. And it will cook up. And it's kind of like a goulash, but it's like a, uh, oh, deconstructed stuffed, Philly steak stuffed shell pasta dinner that I had shared. Instead of stuffing the pasta, I'm just putting in the pasta with the cheese sauce and with it, just like this. <clears throat> I don't have the big pasta shells, but that recipe got me hungry for it, the taste of it. I can get all the taste of it with... Just having a deconstructed meal. Here goes our sour cream. This is my own little twist to it. Sour cream of Philly steak is always delicious in my opinion. All that cheese is melting with a little bit of brown gravy and the sour cream and the pasta water with the pasta. Onions and peppers. I even put some, a little bit of hot pepper in there, as well as bell pepper. Ground beef, salt and pepper and garlic. Worcestershire sauce. And this is going to be a quick meal with a little slice of bread on the side. And this is really good. I'm going to plate it up and I'll show you. Just a moment. Alrighty, I'm going to plate this up and show you. What my lunch is it going to be? This is what I'm going to have for my lunch. Uh, I guess you could say it's like a Philly steak goulash. <laughs> Philly steak pasta goulash. Instead of the stuffed pepper and the stuffed pasta Philly steak that I posted a while ago, which was always fun to go by, look at a recipe, and think, well, how can I? make that up or how can I make that different or how can I make it to what I have to fit what I like and so forth. And this is just another quick meal that I made up today. I had onions and peppers in the freezer. I blended them up. 
but I had a little quarter pan thing left of hamburger meat left over for frying up burgers the other day. I put that in there with Worcestershire sauce, garlic powder, and uh, salt and pepper. Then I threw in the pasta with the pasta water to thicken it up. I threw in a little, just a little sprinkles of a, some brown gravy mix. And I put a little bit of top of sour cream and some cheese. And I just stirred it all up to thicken it up. And this is what I'm having for dinner. Philly steak, ground beef Philly steak, uh, pasta goulash. Just something I just made up. It looks good to me and I can sure smells good, y'all. So uh, this is how you can do quick meals. I got to start, literally stir this up probably within five minutes, maybe. Five, seven minutes. If I can do it, y'all can do it. Y'all have a blessed day. Talk to you later.